Hey guys, got another breakdown here. This is another mishmash team for war that uh, combines a couple of teams that are falling off the meta table, but into a spot where you could combine them and make something really, really powerful. So what I've done here is I've taken Supernatural, which is Mordo, Ghost Rider, and Strange, and combined them with Hela and Loki. So as we all know, Guardians don't really do anything on defense anymore. Uh, Symbiotes just absolutely dominate them. So do X-Men for the most part. Um, Axe-Men kill them too. <laughs> I mean, there's there's a good amount of counters. I mean, there's there's just not much reason to put them on defense. Thor on wave one is actually a pretty solid defense. So, uh, although we're going to destroy that here shortly. So you'll see here. Um, but this team does really well against wave one Avengers. And I'll show you why. It's just the control factor. So we've got a seven red Hulk here. That's uh, tier 14. Uh, tier 14 Captain America and Thor, as well as a tier 15 Black Widow and a tier 13 Hawkeye. It's a 686 Wave 1 Avengers. Uh, they have their buffs up. I have my armory and hangar up, but it is also in reactor, so I'm not going to get those uh, uh, deflects on spawn from the Wave 1 uh, enemy team's buffs for Strange. So, you know, it's okay. You'll see. This, this works out pretty well. But this team combined is really, really powerful. It's a lot of Mystic controllers, and they just do work, right? So uh, I guess the first thing you want to do is figure out who to kill. And to me, that's always Thor when it comes to Wave 1, because you know I don't mind getting stuck in a tank loop on Captain America and Hulk. It's really not that big of a deal, as long as I get Thor down. So I focus him, I put the bleeds on him, let Ghost Rider do that damage. Um, and then I go for the stun on Hulk because I don't want him taunting. He's and plus he's a seven red Hulk, so I really don't want him taunting. Um, so I go ahead and just flip some buffs, throw some extra debuffs on Hawkeye here. Uh, I was trying to avoid putting too many debuffs on Black Widow because I really wanted to make sure that that blind shared, um, which it did. And so she had five debuffs at the time. Uh, Hella only spreads four of you know however many debuffs they have and it's random for each character so if you can try to avoid putting too many debuffs on one of them that has uh, blind so you definitely uh, share that but uh, from here now we've already killed Thor he uh, he kind of ate it with that hella ult and um, hell is very very powerful um, I'm also working on taking her to DD4 uh, so she's one piece of gear away from that <laughs> so she is very beefy with six red stars um, you know, so she is she is very powerful, but you can see here like even Mordo at you know was it level 71 tier 12 is still doing work. He's still applying debuffs uh, every time a Greg or a Loki clone dies. He's generating energy for the team, uh, so his passive is very important, and uh, that enables Ghost Rider to get more specials and alts. And Ghost Rider does tons of damage, and so does Hela. I mean, it's just it's a it's an awesome awesome barrage, and really strange doesn't need to be there he just needs to flip those buffs on turn one so that you get more time to do what you need to do but you can see here uh hell is actually healing the strange there whenever the uh, greg dies which is pretty awesome so you know it's just the uh, oh yeah, i screwed up there there's a blind mordo but whatever you know um i i never even really used the strange alt in this case and and it's just because i never needed to uh, but you know once once you're off the tanks just focus the squishies as much as you can get them down and then you're good so here i just make sure I kill uh, Hawkeye. Uh, I didn't want to risk it, so just went for it. Put the uh, heal blocks down if you can. Those are two turn heal blocks so that uh, Hulk's not going to heal from his ISO passive, which is very important. And uh, now we're just stuck. Uh, oh, I guess he's not a healer ISO. He's a. Uh, yeah, I guess it's a raider. Um, that's fine. <laughs> it's actually a pretty terrible choice, but anyway. Um, he does heal with his uh, special. And uh, so you gotta you gotta watch out for that because he may heal back past 50% uh, into the green, and then you knock him back down, and then his passive reactivates, and he gets to do that all over again. So you just gotta be careful with that. Uh, but you can see there 175k from that Ghost Rider alt, uh, and then he also follows it up with his uh, Straker ISO, which is pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, and then we do the Hella alt again, because why not? And uh, then here comes the Mordo alt, just to be sure. 
extra sure and then we're gonna ride this motorcycle right into Black Widow. Uh, she actually takes it like a champ. However, uh, the road rash gets her and she takes a dirt nap right here. So um, that's it. That is a 130k punch off on Wave 1 Avengers by combining Supernatural and uh, a couple of Asgardians. So it's a pretty good deal. Um, you know, Thor can still be reutilized as a Wave 1 Avenger on defense. Uh, I think he is very good for that purpose. Um, so the the Asgardians then have the leftovers of Sif and Heimdall. I don't really have a good spot to put Heimdall. Sif can kind of slot in on a lot of different defenses. She could go with like uh, Min Guardians as a secondary tank behind Groot. Um, she is decently fast, so she will get that taunt up. Uh, whether or not they all get power armor to death before that is uh, you know up to the attacker. But you know it could be it could be enough to keep you know, Rocket and Star-Lord alive for a little while so they can get going. Um, you never know. But there's really not a whole lot to do with them. So, like, I never built Heimdall past, like, tier 11 or 12, maybe. Um, so I don't really mind leaving him on the bench. But Sif, Sif, I did take to tier 14, unfortunately, because at the time, you know, uh, after finishing DD3, uh, Asgardians were all the rage as far as war defense. But now she's kind of homeless. Uh, I don't really know what to do with her, to be honest with you. Uh, I can use her in a cleanup team, but that's about it. Um, or like I said, just a, a random assignment team on defense, you know, one of the first two teams, just to toss her in there and see if she does anything. Um, but this is a really powerful team. Uh, being able to punch up that much on Wave 1 Avengers with that much comfort is uh, pretty powerful because I've seen some some really beefy Wave 1 Avengers, like 700k plus, and especially since a lot of the uh, Wave 1 Avengers are very popular for DD4, you're going to see a whole lot of big ones from g15s uh that you'll see in uh in war now so you gotta be careful and uh, have a good counter for them because i don't know um i don't know how difficult it would be to take down that seven red hulk if he had healer iso um that might have been more challenging uh had they done that iso however the heal block from mordo really does negate a lot of that so it does help but as long as you get down to that thor early you'd be all right now if that was a g15 thor uh, maybe he doesn't die quite as early and he gets his passive off and does some damage. Um, maybe knocks out Strange or, or Loki early. Um, you know, it, it could change the fight quite a bit. But uh, I'll keep testing this to see if I can find some bigger punch-ups and, and maybe a bigger Thor to see how that works. Because uh, that Hulk was pretty well controlled throughout. Um, I was actually really surprised that the Mordo stun landed on a 7 red tier 14 Hulk. Uh, I didn't think that was going to happen, actually. I thought it was going to be resisted. <laughs> so that was a fortunate, uh, fortunate happenstance. So anyway, um, check this team out. Give it a try. And uh, let me know what you think. I'd be curious to know. And uh, see if you guys have any success with it. Maybe against other teams as well. They have a super amount of control. So as long as they don't get... Uh, blasted like immediately by you know like a star lord rocket combo or something that would kill like i don't know hella or something um you know it shouldn't really matter I, I don't think there's a whole lot of teams that could kill them too quick maybe x factor could x factor brawlers you know with the miss marvel po follow-up attacks and then you know the striker uh, skirmisher combo maybe that would be enough damage to knock out somebody important and uh, it could be a problem but uh, you know strange can bring them back too uh especially if you get that hella uh minion greg giving extra energy to supernaturals due to the mordo passive so there's there's a lot of a lot of control and a lot of um, backup plans and options with this team which is, makes it really neat so i'm gonna i'm gonna try it against some other stuff in the next war and uh see how it goes so let me know what you think i'd be curious to know and uh have a good night i'll see you later